I'm going to need a couple volunteers. No hands. You're smiling. Why don't you come on up? This gentleman in the gray shirt, why don't you come up? Give him a hand. They're going to help you with something. What I have here are five macrame rings. Would you please check those and make sure there's no cuts, slits, holes, secret passageways, anything like that in them? And then I have some ropes. Now, these five macrame rings are going to represent production problems, quality, distortion, grinding and touch ups, and operator fatigue. Because an operator holding a torch gets tired after a while. So I'm going to take these five rings. Thank you. And I'm going to put them on the rope, which represents the workpiece. Okay? And I'm going to loop these through here. Hand two to you. And hand two to you. Here's your workpiece with these problems we've discussed. Now, the one problem I haven't mentioned is material handling. And they say material handling we're getting the workpiece to a place where it can be worked on results in 40% of the cost of production. May I have this? Well, we're going to let my jacket represent material handling. So take that here. I'm going to have your ends. Thank you. Okay, <coughs> you guys have been kind enough just to hold that up for me. Now, may I have one of your ends? May I have one of your ends? Thank you. And we're really going to knot material, material handling to the job as well. Now, the thing that's interesting about the magic of mechanization, not only can it reduce the things that I mentioned before, production, starts and stops, distortion, operator fatigue, and so forth, which is what these five macrame rings represent, but the biggest cost of fabrication through the magic of mechanization, material handling, can be removed as well.